Naira, you finished with 31 points, 20 in the second half, and you've seen this a lot this season, the sagging player to player, the zone defense, and you just kind of took control of things and said, I'm going to start knocking down some threes. It was all just confidence. It was mentally for me, I had to prepare. I knew that this team was going to sag, and I had to prove that I could shoot the three. So Jordan did a great job getting me the ball right in target, and I just started with confidence, and it started the ball. How in tune are you and Jordan? It just seems like whenever you're open, she finds you. You guys just seem to have a great rhythm out there. Um, it's all about relationships. I, off the court, we have a great relationship. I always talk to her, and I talk to her throughout the game and tell her, like, I'm open here, I'm open here. And she has great hands, great eyes, and she always gets me the ball where I need it. You know, you look at your stats and your team in the third quarter just across the season so far really comes out at halftime and just plays great. What happens at halftime so that you can come out and do that? Um, our leaders in the locker room, they really get on us. Um, we know games are going to be won the second half, crucially in the fourth, in the last four minutes. So really try to focus on that and give our best during that time. I know when I talk to a lot of your different players, they want to win games. They're tired of coming close and then walking in the locker room and what could have been. Is a game like today and the USC victory and knowing what's ahead of you really making a statement about what this season's all about? Of course, we're not the team from last year where we just came close. Um, we're that team where we're going to beat teams, and when we really need buckets, we go to our, um, our scorers, we go to our vets, and we're just going to um, capitalize on those uh, opportunities so we can beat teams. I know Coach talks a lot about she knows you all can score, but when you kind of give this defensive energy, you guys were flying around the floor. What brought that energy out today? Um, we all just really uh, committed to pressure in the ball. We knew if we can pressure for 40 minutes and disrupt, disrupt their offense, we'd be um, really successful. So we talked about that at halftime. We came out and did it. It doesn't get any easier. You have Oregon State on Monday. You're going to see the hammer in the house with the shot blocking. And a huge challenge, a team that's nationally ranked in the top 10. What's that challenge mean to you guys? It means everything. We haven't beat Oregon State in I don't know how long. So we're coming in to practice really intense. We're going to bring all this energy because we want to beat them. Well, Naira, happy New Year's. It's a great way to start 31 points, 20 in the second half. Outstanding job. Thank you.